By now, most of us are used to the volatility of the silver market with over 2% moves from one day to the next. We've seen silver rise almost 5% in one day and fall almost 7% on another day. But I don't think that constitutes a crash per se. But what I'm about to share with you now definitely would cause the silver market to crash dramatically. I'll explain exactly what I mean in this video as we explore. Silver's price is on fire, or it is burning down to the ground. That is what we've been seeing lately. But there are some unexpected things that could occur that could cause the price of silver to crash, I mean, hard. And what I'm about to share with you is a highly unlikely event, which is all the more reason why I think it would have a dramatic impact to the negative on the silver market. And where do we find the biggest clues to this? It's in the Fed watch tool as to what the Federal Reserve could do that would cause the silver price to plummet. Why? Well, because of their manipulation of this, the dollar. We have been seeing at least four rounds, if not more, of quantitative easing that has created more of these dollars that creates inflation. Now, a lot of those dollars went overseas as well, but it has bolstered up the strength of the dollar as well too, which is really what they wanna do, is they wanna strengthen that dollar. And how do they do that? They do that by raising interest rates or keeping interest rates high. But there is no forecast going all the way out a year from now plus that sees the Federal Reserve raising interest rates even more. In fact, many think that they're going to lower rates at least one time this year and more next year. But they could throw a wrench into it all and actually raise interest rates. If you think that's not likely to happen, think again. What is their motivation for doing so? Politics. Domestic politics, we are in an election year, and in an election year where we have seen unprecedented things occur within our government and within the institutions surrounding the government, it would not surprise me one bit if they were to raise interest rates in order to really and essentially crash the economy or greatly slow down the economy where jobs are lost at a grand scale. And they would do it for political reasons. Um, and they would strengthen the dollar in doing so, but it would be at a great cost, I think. And it would not necessarily mean that the, the economy would just go into a depression, but it could trigger a recession. And they may be okay with that. But nonetheless, it would send silver would fall very hard in the wake of such an activity would occur. But there's another reason why silver price could crash as well, too. I'll get to that in a moment. But first, let's talk a little bit, a bit about energy. And we know silver's role in energy, especially green energy. And in that way, and it would, in a sense, could bolster silver from falling absolutely dramatically down below a certain number. And I'm going to give you a number of what that could mean and a percentage drop of what a crash is after I talk about another energy source, uranium. Uranium prices have quadrupled over the last five years. After getting a boost from the EU as a viable green energy resource, uranium is gaining traction as a clean energy solution to the energy crisis. There has been a growing support for uranium for voters across the political spectrum, especially since 2020. The support for nuclear energy is at its highest in the decade. The technology around nuclear energy has vastly improved, making it one of the safest alternatives in the world using small modular reactors. This is important to know as it provides an exciting opportunity in the Athabasca region in Saskatchewan, Canada. Our sponsor is Atha Energy Corporation with the ticker symbol SASKF. Atha holds the largest cumulative exploration package in the Athabasca region, the world's most prominent basin for uranium discoveries. With 4.8 million acres, about the size of New Jersey, that took 10 years to stake out, no other company comes even close to that. Their other claims are next to the top producing uranium mines in the basin. This makes Atha Energy the most unique uranium company in the world. 
They have a market cap of only $137 million and a massive $42 million cash position with 36% ownership comprised of management, the board, and insiders. That means they have skin in the game, which is a good sign that they believe in the mission and the potential. The only low number I'm going to give to you is the value per acre. That sits at $21. Why? Because they haven't even started drilling yet. This is where the potential lies. Once those drilling results come and report positive findings, then you'll see that number rise substantially. There are two other sites that will be targeted in 2024, the Gemini Discovery and the Anglac Project. Atha Energy have raised $60 million at a dollar per share. It is now trading under 70 cents as I record this video. So it has some great upside potential. The CEO, Troy Bostoli, was involved with NextGen and Camco and increased their resources greatly under his involvement by discovering many million pounds of uranium. So he has a proven track record of results. Only now he has much more potential with more land to add to the mix. Given the property size, exposure to already successful and established companies, which also includes already established infrastructure, which is very important in these things, and excellent managerial experience, two more project sites that have been added, at the energy will be primed for exploration drilling soon. So this is the time to invest in this incredible opportunity. But you must understand the potential and also understand the risk because in exploration mining like this, especially with uranium, uh, you know, there is a great potential, especially for as how well the metal has been doing. And it is indeed a metal, very radioactive one. It's not one you want to hold in your hand. When you have it and you, and you invest in a company that is at the cusp of, of a great discovery, there is some good potential there. But there's risk as well. Understand that risk. So do your own due diligence as you look into Atha Energy. Now back to silver and what it could do. You know, there's risk with silver too. And the risk of a crash is something that should not be ignored as a possibility. It does not change the nature of what silver is and what it has been for really thousands of years. The value price proposition and difference there. What is price? Price is something that the market uh, and humans a place as a value on it uh, at a given time based off of the derivatives, the futures, the contracts, the options, all the different things associated with it that the paper traders say it is. And that is something that is of great importance, especially if you need to sell or if you want to buy it. And notwithstanding, what does a crash entail? A crash, I think, is below 10 to 12 percent in a single day, or or a several days of a less of more than 20 percent drop over the over the course of a couple of days. I think that is a very realistic possibility. Um, if we were to see the option I talked about before, if the Federal Reserve uh, raises interest rates even by a quarter point, and I think that is something that should be considered as a possibility given the political nature that the Federal Reserve is engaged in. Now, another thing that could happen that is independent of what other Federal Reserve is a naturally born recession, a recession that could start even around the world in a global recession that could uh, really scale back demand for silver. And if we see that, I think that even raising or even lowering interest rates may not be able to save silver from a crash. And a, a recession that comes on an onset dramatically, especially with what we've been seeing with bank failures, uh, if we see a couple more of those coupled with other things uh, and, and entrenched and increasing inflation that we are still finding ourselves in, it's a delicate situation. Um, and then, then all bets are off the table. I think the demand for silver will greatly decrease and we can see the silver price plummet and plummet dramatically. Now, a, an, a, an example of it, uh, really a, uh, the big example we saw back in 2020 was a, essentially a government-induced recession. When they shut everything down, we saw silver fall below $12 an ounce in the paper markets. Uh, and I'm not saying we're gonna see that if a recession comes. And that would be a, an extreme example. But I believe that we could see silver's price fall 
And that price very well could be in below $20. Below $20, think about it, where it sits right now. And of course, by the time you see this video, silver could very well be in the $27 range or even $26 range. It's been crazy where it's been going lately. And mostly we've been seeing a uh, level of those gains being eaten away by a couple of days of falling prices dramatically. But we'll see how it plays out. Now, uh, I still am bullish for silver through this year. If those two things do not happen, I still think silver's gonna get th to, th to $35 this year. I think there's more working in savers and silver's favor than not. But I wanted to give you this possibility and a scenario that, although unlikely, is quite possible and, in a sense, really should not surprise us all if it were to occur. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Hope you found this video informative, insightful, and educational. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.